Hello and welcome everybody to Wherever the Wind Blows, Season 2, Episode 6. My name is Morgan Gigon, owner and founder of South Florida Storm Chasers. And that other ugly guy on the end of the line's name is... I'm Chris, founder of West Side Tornado Chasers, and I am not the ugly guy, he's on the other side. No, that's me. Everybody knows I am beautiful. Anyway, as you see, I'm doing this from my home office today. It's awesome. Let me tell you that. Having a bed behind me is freaking sweet. Anyway, yeah. today we will be talking Those about... Christopher. Today, we will be talking about the potential for tornadoes and severe weather in the next two days, uh, March 24th and March 25th, 2015. And we will also have a forecast given to us along with the target location by Christopher's step of West Side Tornado Chases. I am looking forward to this, and all of you oh. should, too. How about... Well, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to actually check out the potentials for this day before Chris just, you know, absolutely tells us where to go because everybody knows I can't forecast. <laughs> so, you know, oh, we're looking forward to what to say. I mean, it's going to be absolutely amazing. So right now, here, I'm going to screen share right to you guys so you can see... Right now, there's, again, you know, we all know Chris is going to bluff. Share. Yeah, obviously. And here you go, everybody. You can see we have a slight risk tomorrow uh, for areas in southwest Missouri and northeast Oklahoma and northwest Arkansas. <coughs> Sorry, I have a little bit of cough. And in this light risk area includes areas like Springfield, Missouri, Fort Smith, Arkansas, Fayetteville, Arkansas, Springdale, Arkansas, and Joplin, Missouri. And then you have a marginal risk for a larger area that includes Kansas City, Tulsa, Independence, Missouri, Columbus, Missouri, and Broken Arrow, Oklahoma. So this is a wide range event. Now, we don't have probabilities. So that's what Chris is here for. He's going to tell us where we should go for tomorrow because tomorrow is such a Big day. It's the first uh, slight risk in the planes that I think a lot of people are looking forward to. I think there's definitely a tornado potential. I think we could see one or two tornadoes, maybe the first of March. Now, here, as we're here, we're also going to look at Wednesday, which is also another slight risk for generally the same area. This time, it spreads more into central Oklahoma also. We have some areas under a slight risk, including Oklahoma City, Tulsa, St. Louis, Missouri, Springfield, Missouri, and Norman, Oklahoma. And then some areas under a marginal risk, including Dallas, Texas, Fort Worth, Texas, Arlington, Texas, Plano, Texas, and Garland, Texas. This slight risk even expands into Illinois, so Chris may even have to consider going after this himself. So... Now, I know everybody's looking forward to this part because I know I am. So, we're going to have Chris explain yeah. to us where yeah. one South Florida Storm Chasers team, guided by me, should go tomorrow. Chris? <laughs> I'm not guiding you, man. Go ahead, Chris. I'm looking forward to it. You know what? You're looking forward to this, all right? Well, you know, look, I have had 10 minutes to do this. I haven't had much time because, you know, I'm going to just give it to you straight, all right? No, no, no. Oh, I'm sure shoot. that not only I, but the entire audience would like to hear the specifics of this event and what you think may happen and where it may happen. So we will be able to choose a target city or town. All right. Well, I think when I I was looking at I was looking at <clears throat> and it looks like a lot of the activity <clears throat> being uh the towards northern Oklahoma. Um, it's on the outskirts, like right on the border between northern Oklahoma, and as I also see, uh, part of actually right on the border between Kansas and Missouri. Um. Because I'm looking at here, 
And then, I mean, what I saw was coffee. Uh, you know? You see anything like around that area? Where? What yeah, area? So I was thinking. Well, I'm I'm found over here, like okay, southwest of Coffeyville, Kansas. It's like in Oklahoma. It's on the very northern part. And I looked at the sounding, and I mean, it, it looked good. But then you know, I have no experience in this. That's what. That's that's. You know, what, no. What did you? What, no. What did you find? Well, here I will show everybody the sounding for one o'clock tomorrow in the real target city for South Florida Storm Chasers team led by Matt. This is exactly where they will be going tomorrow. I won't give you the exact location. I'll give you a general area though, where they believe that storms will initiate and form. This is the sounding. <laughs> for an area in between Joplin, Missouri and Springfield, Missouri. <coughs> this is the area Joplin. that not I only think. I think will have any supercells, but also does have very good low-level lapse rates. Uh, there is a little bit of a cap in place. Uh, I don't think it will be enough of a factor if the storms can get enough lifting and instability from earlier in the day. It will definitely be able to convect and possibly see a few severe storms. So here by the sounding you can see very nice uh, in the low levels. A little bit of cap higher up, but that's more than fine. It looks very good right now. The hodograph, again, this is for 1 o'clock. We do have some turning in the low level atmosphere. <coughs> so once again, nothing to really worry about. For about three hours later, hey, we have, yeah. Hey, I want to screen share a sounding with you, and I want to get your input as well. This is what I was looking at. Um, well, let me is finish. this okay? All right, good. It's going to hit like the test too, like the corner at the very tip, and also like kind of part of Texas, right up here. So once again, looking at the sounding, you do see about three hours later, so about four o'clock, uh, you still have, you know, somewhat of a cap in place. But by then, storms are expected to convect, and definitely, as we look at the composite reflectivity for that time, we do have <laughs> storms convecting within the area. So definitely possible at the same time. So this is. 21 UTC or four o'clock, five o'clock Eastern. We have an EHI of just over one in the area, and Cape is at once it loads. Cape is looking real good in the area. Uh, the reason that a lot of things, though, aren't going to happen down here and farther in Oklahoma, where the Cape is kind of around 3,000 joules, is due to a fairly strong cap over the area. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if it holds and just keeps any storms from forming in that area. <coughs> But at the same time, down there, there's not a lot of turning the atmosphere, so there isn't really much to worry about as you go farther into Oklahoma tomorrow. Uh, definitely looking into Wednesday, Oklahoma is more of a concern. So it's definitely something that you're going to want to watch out for on Wednesday in Oklahoma. Again, there's plenty of vertical velocity. Uh, and relative vorticity, if this will load, which it should, is again fair in the area. So I think we will definitely be able to see uh, storms convect in southwest Missouri tomorrow. Uh, we'll probably see them again on Wednesday. I don't think that the ground saturation will help at all. So I definitely think that 
having Tuesday will limit some of what happens Wednesday in Missouri, but I do think that um, <coughs> wins that Wednesday in Oklahoma could be big. But looking at Tuesday in Missouri in that southwest corner, looks to be where everything big's gonna happen. Plenty of precipitable water. The surface dew point, I believe, is in the upper 50s, maybe even the 60s. Yeah, you have some 60s in uh, that southwest corner of Missouri. So based on low-level lapse rates and everything, if anything's going to happen, it will be uh, in southwest Missouri tomorrow. Chris, any comments? We're uh, looking at the, the Japan. I was looking for uh, west to Japan. And then kind of this this sound in here kind of threw me off, but you might be able to, um, you know, fill me on some information with sounding. You know, well, that's why you know. I do it here. I teach you the general population, uh, infidels. Just hold on, dude, okay? Also making an announcement on this podcast, I am looking for somebody, uh, it's going to be an unpaid job, to help with forecasting for some of these events, mostly just because for me it's a lot of work, I have to forecast, send it out to teams, and all this fun stuff, so I'm looking for maybe an aspiring meteorologist, a uh, young specifically, that would like to turn around and help me forecast. I will mentor you. I will help you in all the ways I can to become hopefully what you want as in a meteorologist. So, yeah. Maybe you could clear this up for me. Oh, Chris you is there? Shooting, Shay. Sorry, did not see this. All right, yeah, look at that cap. Woo! Woo yeah, that's a pretty, pretty little cap. That moisture, though. I mean, Jesus Christ! Look at that low-level moisture. My God, it just goes freaking haywire. Alright, show me here, because, uh, alright, show me here where the cap is. Now what I need to, I need, I will. Cap is that red line when it cuts huh? back as warmer air. Okay, when it cuts back as warmer <laughs> air. So, if you look, you see it's going left, left is colder. You see how it makes a sharp right turn? Yeah. In yeah. that is called an inversion or a cap. Whatever. All right, we all right. We'll talk later <laughs> after that. I'm still trying to get trying to get that. That's the hardest thing for me. I've been trying to understand this cap. Everything else I can do. Oh, okay. Okay. Go ahead. So, again, uh, I do think that tomorrow has potential to be actually an okay day. I mean, could see maybe a tornado too. I'm not too... Show on that, I think it's a lot more of a hail risk. I think there could be a few elevated storms along the warm front that 
uh, will turn around and drop a lot of hail and maybe wind, but I really don't foresee uh, it being a bust in terms of severe weather. I think we could also see our first severe thunderstorm watch of 2015 issued by the Storm Prediction Center in Norm in Norman, Oklahoma. And I think that maybe if people are positioned right, it will be a good first chase for many and a good way to get your SDS over with. So, Chris, well, I hope you get the best of luck. Yeah, thank because you very much. I'm, obviously, I did, obviously, I did not understand that. So maybe you could show me the sound in, in the later part, and I can see you, the difference between what I saw and what you're seeing. Oh yeah, and all. Like I told know, everybody, I just. Yeah, and they understand. I mean, you know, you have to forecast on the run sometimes. You gotta do it quick. You know, you were close for on the run. I mean, when I'm on the run, I normally am miles off. You were pretty close, so well, I'll, I'll give it to you. It was pretty good. And to everybody, uh, sorry, but this is gonna be a shorter podcast, mostly because you know I have to go. Chris has to go. Uh, this was more of a little bit to make up for the one that we missed. That was going to have really interesting conversation. But due to the fact that tomorrow and Wednesday are both supposed to be chase days, uh, we you know both kind of can't stay too long. So right now it's just going to be – we'll probably end it in the next five minutes. Uh, it will be up on YouTube and – if you head over to Twitter, the South Florida Storm Chasers Twitter will be very specific and have up-to-date details from all the teams in the field while they are uh, live. They will be live tweeting as they chase. So it will be pretty interesting, and I look forward to it as probably the first okay chase of the year. Chris, any ending comments? No. Just wait for him to... <laughs> wait for him to reach the who's zero hour before I start going. Only... I got a oh. shot for Wednesday. Yeah, maybe you can get down I got, into... I got a thing for... Maybe you can get down to southern Illinois on Wednesday. Maybe see if you can catch the MCS when it gets up there. So... It's only a question of time and the amount of energy and anything that happens. So, and work. Yeah. Oh, that pain in the ass thing that I'm a lot of people have to do that I don't. And this wouldn't be a storm for me to waste a day off. Oh, yeah. This wouldn't be a storm for me at all to waste a day Oh, yeah. Well, I Definitely. got you for Wednesday. I think, yeah, Wednesday. Um, and maybe possibly. Henry, Henry out of Oklahoma and Chase East, maybe? Uh, well, well, considering that it will probably leave Oklahoma going northeast uh, as an MCS, we're going to leave it alone. And then if anything's behind it, try and get that. But other than that, I think all the guys, including me, plan to kind of stay back a little bit. Okay. Well, all right. Well, that's yeah. All I can give you. And you know, shorter podcast, but that's all right. We'll make up for it on Friday when we have episode seven, actually. So that'll be kind of post. That'll be a recap of Chase. Anything that happened, and then the interesting topic about days that were potentially missed or not looked at very well. Looking forward to it. How about you, Chris? Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. All yeah, right. I, um, we'll be, be presenting a video, our new chase van. Oh, yeah. 
Mm -hmm. My new Chase fan. Come for it. Oh yeah. <laughs> so thank you guys. I'm gonna go try and catch some Z's so I don't get any more sick. Uh, and you guys can also go and follow me on Twitter now. I have my own Twitter page. Yay! Uh, it's just at Morgan Gigon. My name you can see right here in front of me, right here. Just put an at in front of that. See right over here. Where, where the logo is, put an at sign or you can geek on. Then you can go and find me on Twitter. Go follow me. Uh, I try to stay up to date with everything. Uh, every, you know, I like to comment on things. You know, you'll hear me make dumb little comments every now and then just to have fun. Uh, the South Florida Storm Chasers Twitter, which is at S F L S Chasers. Uh, you can go follow, give them a follow. Uh, that is where all the chasers will be tweeting as they chase. Uh, later tonight, I expect them to chase where they, not chase, uh, announce where they are staying the night as their target area for tomorrow. And then same thing tomorrow night, they'll tell you about Wednesday. So thank you for joining us, everybody. I'm sorry that today was so short, but that's just what we have to do, especially when it's, uh, chase season, so some of these will be shorter and some of these will be longer as we turn around than, uh, you know, this. <coughs> so thank you for joining us. We look forward to having you again. And, well, everybody, let's go chase. All right, Chris? Yep. All right. Bye, everybody. Thank you for joining us, and we look forward to seeing you next time.